For the markets now, Tom Petrovsky at Comsec. Good morning to you. The Nasdaq has taken a tumble today. Does that fit into the Australian story? Pete, you're uh, acutely across everything. Uh, so that's uh, a very good observation. The Nasdaq down by 2.8%. So wow. that's been one of the features of the US session last night. There are a couple of reasons behind it, but we've seen a bit of a rotation out of these uh, very expensive chip stocks and technology names that have flourished over the course of the last 12 months uh, lately. But there was an added impetus to that uh, with the conversation around Taiwan and uh, indeed the Biden administration discussing the possibility of imposing new tariffs uh, or restrictions on the sales of chips to, to China. Mm -hmm. And that was one of the factors that created that downdraft. So the Philadelphia Semiconductor Index, which measures these uh, a little more effectively, uh, had its worst one day sell off since March of 2020. That index was down by around 6%. There are 30 components. There were only two that ended higher over the course of the day. NVIDIA shares down by about 6% and advanced micro devices down by about 9%. Broadcom down by 7%. And ASML, Pete, this is an organization uh, that actually uh, makes the equipment to make the chips. Uh, this stock was down by about 10%. They're a Dutch organization. So the Dow Jones, uh, having uh, said all of that, rose by 0.6%, reflecting that movement back into industrial names and hit a record high in the process. The S&P 500 down 1.4%. We're going to kick off with a loss of around 0.6% today as far as the local market. 0.6%. Okay, got it, Tom. Thank you.